leaving Singleton. In Singleton, I was able to visit Servo's Cafe. The food and coffee was fantastic. Uh, the ambience was excellent as well. This is a beauty. I'm in single town town and I am about to show you world largest sundial. Singleton town, it's a beautiful town. It's... And here you go. This is world largest sundial at Singleton. Fantastic. Look at that. Never thought about I can find it here. It's world largest sundial in Singleton, New South Wales, Australia. It's a beauty. Singleton is uh, a town in New South Wales which is 197 kilometer north northwest of Sydney and around 70 kilometer uh, northwest of uh, Newcastle. So I'm in front of the world largest sundial in Singleton. This is such a great experience. So let's have a look what does it say. Singleton is a town on the banks of Hunter River in New South Wales. All right, so this is the chart of corrections to be applied to determine Australian Eastern Standard Time. And this is how I have no idea how it works, but I'll have a look to it. This board is by Singleton Council, and there is a bit of a calculation that you have to do. This is at the Rose Point Park, Rose Point Road. And this is Rose Point. And you can find the world largest sundial at Rose Point Singleton. That's how it looks like. Fantastic. And you know, water weather here today. This is great. So let's go close to see what's written here. So this is a gift to the present and future community of Singleton from Lamington Mine. That is great. That is great. would be interesting to really see how it works. I'm just so fascinated about it. World largest sundial. Top class. It's a beautiful place. All right, so after leaving Singleton, I just uh, stopped on my way back to Sydney as a stop, revive, survive, just to have a cup of tea. And this is a site called Mooney Mooney. So this is an excellent lookout, Mooney Mooney. What a view. It's a sunset. Close to sunset. An excellent lookout.
Oh, it's a long drive from Singleton. So this is the history, what it says, former ferry docks Muni Muni Point. So Muni Muni Point falls under Gosford City Council and this place was unveiled by Malcolm Brooks, the mayor of Gosford on 17th April 2005. Right, that's interesting. That's a beauty. Um, uh, it's a good place for stop, revive, and survive. Good picnic point, good lookout. Look at that.